Good everyone. My name is Graphics. If you look at the front of the screen, we are to to evaluate the triple integral of x plus y plus z with respect to the x, the y, and the z. Where arrow, which is the region, is bounded by the limits. For x, we move from 0 to 1. For y, we move from 1 to 2. And from z, we move from 2 to 3. Because of this limit we have here, we say these integrals are definite integral. Because we know that integrals with limits are definite. Now, what we are going to do here is we are going to integrate this just like we've been doing other integration. For this particular integration is a triple integration. That means we'll be integrating three times with respect to different functions. So let's get into business. Now, if you look at this question closely and we want to integrate, we we'll start from the inside to the outside. Now, if you look at the inside, the closest function to my variables x, y, and z is dx. And the closest integral sign is what is that of x that moves from 0 to 1. So we start from the inside. We're integrating this given variables with respect to x. That is why we have the x there. So the rest variables in this bracket will be seen as a constant so if i should do that i am going to be having if you integrate x let me just side work in here if i want to integrate x remember that x has a power of one now integration means you're going to add one to the power and you divide by what is in the power and that will give us s to the power of 2 all over 2, right? So I'm going to put it here. Plus, now if you look at this, we have to integrate y with respect to x also. Remember, we are integrating with respect to x. So if I should go to y, now remember that close to y, we have 1. And since we are integrating, with respect to x, my 1 will be same thing as writing s to the power of what? 0, right? So if I should integrate this now, that means I will add 1 to the power, which is 0 plus 1, all over 0 plus 1, all over the power. So we'll be having s to the power 0 plus 1 is 1, all over 1, and n to the power 1 is that thing, and n divided by 1 is also that thing so which is the thing here we we'll have x now i will now be having x y remaining if i do the same thing for z like if you have your integral of z one is close to it but because we are integrating with respect to x that one will be x raised power zero and if you're integrating now we have zero plus one all over 0 plus 1. So we'll still be having x, z. So this is what I'm going to write. Remember that my integral sign has limits from 0 to 1. So I'm going to put it here. So it means that when I have the y, the x outside. So this simply means that I'm going to take this particular variables, right? And I'll put it into place. Just watch and see. Because the rule is upper limit minus lower limit meaning that the upper limit in this particular function here minus the lower limit in this particular function so i'll put this in two different places just like you're seeing on the screen so in the left hand side i'll put the upper limit in the right hand side i'll put the lower limit so let's start with the left hand side here which is this anyway i see x i put one so we're having one square all over 2 plus 1 times y 
plus 1 times z, right? That's for the left hand side of the negative sign. Now for the right hand side, anywhere I see x, I'll put 0. So we're having 0 square over 2 plus 0 times y plus 0 times z all together. So remember, we have dy, dz outside. Now, if you look at this closely, I'm going to be having the integral of 2 to 3 and the integral of 1 to 2. Now, what's remaining in the bracket here? 1 raised power 2 is 1, 2 we have 1 over 2, plus 1 times y is y, plus 1 times z is z, minus everything here will be 0 because 0 divided by anything, any finite number is 0. 0 multiplied by anything is 0. Plus 0 times anything will give us what? 0. So everything there will give us 0. So we still have dy, dz there. Are we there? So at the long run, this is what we have remaining. Now we are done with integrating with respect to x. Now we'll go to the next integral closer to the remain the the uh, integrated variable this is the integrated variable here so and that is what integral of what one to two the what dy so we are going to be integrating with respect to y so let's move like i said from the inside out so the inside here is integral of one to two and dy is that again so we'll do that again now we'll be Integrating with respect to what? To y. Right? So any other thing you see will be a constant. Z is a constant. 1 over t is also a constant. So when I do that, for the first one, if I'm to integrate 1 over 2, let me do it here. It means that 1 is close to 1 over 2. But because of the fact that I am integrating with respect to y, that my one there is since I'm writing y raised power what zero, right? So when I do that, I'll go to the next one. I will be having if I if I do y raised power zero, so if I integrate it to be I'll add one to the power, and I'll divide by the power. So y raised power zero plus one all over zero plus one is going to give us y raised power one over one, which is y. So times one over two we'll be having y over 2 i would there so if you go to the next one we have y so if you integrate y to, to with respect to y means that you add let me read it here you add 1 to the power because the power of y now is 1 so we add 1 to the power you have y squared divided by the power which is 2 and that will give us y squared over 2 plus you do the same thing here like i said earlier so we'll be having yz here because you are integrating with respect to what? To y. So how did I do that? If I have my integral sign of z of um of z with respect to y. So it means close to z we have one. Because it's to y you put y as power zero. And we are integrating, add one to the power, divide by the power. So we have y zero plus one over zero plus one. At the end of the day, we're having y. So we multiply the y times z. How we there? So the limit is 2 and 1. Don't forget your dz is outside. So what we simply do here is the same thing we did initially. The upper limit of this function minus the upper lower limit. So you're going to substitute in your values. So the first left hand side is for the upper limit, the right hand side is for the lower limit. So for the upper limit, anyway, you see y, you put 2. Right? So look at what I'll do. So I'll be having y over 2 means 2 over 2. Plus y square over 2 means 2 square over 2. Plus y z means 2 z. Minus, so you start putting your 1. y is 1, 1 over 2. Plus 1 square over 2. Plus 1 times z. So in the long run, we we'll now have... The integral 2 to 3 and 2 over 2 is 1 plus 2 square is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2 plus 2z minus 1 over 2 plus 1 square. Oh, um, y here is 1, so we have 1 square over 2 
I'm doing plus Z. Start again. So when you do the needful, you realize that we'll be having 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 2Z minus half plus half is 1 plus Z. That again. Now when you open the brackets, you'll be having minus 1 minus Z. So if you collect like terms, we'll be having 3 minus 1 is 2. 2z minus z is z. So remember, we were having with respect to what? To z. So at the long run, again, we're going to integrate this particular function here with respect to z. So we're having, like I told you earlier, since it's respect to z, means that what? You'll be multiplying by z. So if I'm to integrate z here, to integrate 2 here, since it's with respect to z, so we're having. 2 times 1, integral of what? 2, 1 is close to it, dz. Since it's because of the z, I will now put z to the power what? 0. So if I integrate now, you add 1 to the power, which is one, 0 plus 1, all over 0 plus 1. So at the long run here, we will now be having 2z. Plus, you add 1 to the power, if you are integrating z, means you add 1 to the power of z, divided by the power. So it will be z squared over 2. So the limit is 3, 2. So from here, put it in two places. So the first side here, the left hand side, is for the upper limit minus the lower limit, which is the right hand side. So in the left hand side, anyway, you see z, you put the upper limit, which is 3. Right? So we're having 2 into bracket 3 plus 3 raised power 2 all over 2. Minus now for the right hand side, you put um, the lower limit which is 2. So we have 2 to the bracket of 2 plus 2 squared over 2. So now we we'll now have 2 times 3 is 6 plus 3 squared is 9, so we have 9 over 2. Minus 2 times 2 is 4 plus 2 squared, which is 4 all over 2, we we'll still have 2. Now if you do it needful, we'll be having 6 plus 9. Open the bracket, we have minus 4, and minus times plus 2 give minus 2. So if you look at it, 6 minus 4 minus 2 give us 0. So we're left with what? 9 over 2, and that is 4.5 units. So this is how you triple integrate a given function with respect to the x, the y, and what? And the z. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like subscribe and also share the video thanks for watching